and um, good morning. Well, well, maybe not morning, but we are back. We are now, as you can see, we're in Bali. I am sweating like a polar bear in the desert. Me too. I'm like, I, I had a white t-shirt on, but it turned out like wet, so I changed. <laughs> but yeah, we are in Bali, and for once we figured that you guys had seen enough out the window of an airplane shot, so that way we thought it was smarter to do a bit of a travel Q&A here in Bali. Yep. Does that sound like a good plan? I like the plan. And since we're doing a travel Q&A, I have a little preview of something that's coming out on Monday that I wanted to take this opportunity to show you. Because as you know, we released a camouflage douchebag a couple weeks ago and it sold out in nine hours. So now I want to give people a bit more heads up if you're interested in what I have right here. We have the brand new all leather, all black edition that is coming out on Monday. It is a limited edition, so it won't be available forever. But I want to, just so you guys have the chance to get it, I wanted to show you and let you know that on Monday it's coming out. Um, there will be all the info on Douchebag's Instagram, so link in the description below, so you can follow them and make sure you get it. But I have to say that we started Douchebag's five years ago, and I think when I received these bags, it was the first bag where I'm like, yes! Yeah. We are finally like where I wanted the company to be when we started it. So yeah, like we have the, the leather webbing, we have the suede here, and uh, basically I sort of looked at insides of cars and everything, so now you know they're coming out. There'll be more pictures and everything, but... Thumbs up from me. Thumbs up from Marcus. Yes. So if you like a guy that has the style of ripped jeans, uh, you know this guy is <laughs> approved for these. But yeah, little metal logo, so like everything's all black, less logos than before, which I think is really cool. But enough with that. Let's uh, move on to the million questions that I got. It was, I don't remember it being this hot in, in Bali, but I'm like, I don't know if you can see how much I'm sweating. I'm trying to go through all, like I have 650 questions, I think. So I'm oh. trying to get to the start of Instagram. Whoa. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll start right at the beginning with people that were really quick to answer questions. I should look into the <laughs> lens? Yes. Okay. Um, what are your fa favorite travel gadgets? I mean, I don't have that many gadgets. Like, of course, you always need the travel, like the electricity converter. You need your laptop and you need noise concealing headphones. And travel buddies. And travel buddies. You need your buddies. Traveling alone is so boring. Um, what is your favorite time of the year to travel? I mean, we travel all year round, and I don't think I have a favorite time. Do you have a favorite time, Marcus? All the time. All the time. All the time is my favorite time. Cindy wants to know, what's your favorite thing about traveling with Yanni? I think when you travel with Yanni, and she's with you at check-in, you get away from overweight luggage a lot more often. So Yanni, she's just lucky at finding the right people and like, she's just lucky, generally. Ah, here's an interesting one for, I guess, both of us. Do you prefer travel vlogging or home vlogging? What do you say, Marcus? I mean, travel vlogging is home vlogging. Cause... <laughs> yeah, I would say that I probably prefer travel vlogging because it's more new things, so it's easier. Whereas when we're home, it's hard to know what you guys want to see, so we're always like trying to figure out what to do. When we're traveling, it's much easier. I agree. <laughs> it's so hot, yeah. Ugh. How has it been traveling with the red camera so far? No problem. No problem. Like, I was a bit afraid coming through check-in with like 10 batteries. I mean, no, we have six of these and then the big camera. And so far, it's been no problem whatsoever. Well, and then we can tag on. We have had lots of questions. How is it to travel with drones? And I mean, so far, there hasn't been one single issue ever in any country. Nope. So uh, our, from our experience, it's no problem whatsoever. We put it in the carry-on uh, with everything there. So yeah, so far so good. James wants to know, if you could live in one place forever for the rest of your life, where would that be? One place for the rest of my life. And I couldn't travel? If I couldn't travel, I, no, I, I'd say Hawaii because I love sur surfing but then I can't ski, so it's really difficult. Can't really answer that. I, I wanna keep traveling. We had to move out because I was sweating like a crazy person, so we had to get out and get some more fresh air. 
But we will continue. Do you have any tips to beat jet lag? And beating jet lag is far from easy. Um, the only tips I have is try to sort of plan your sleeping on the flights in order to match the time zone you're going to. Like if I'm in the States for a long time, I will go to bed an hour earlier every night, like four to five nights before I leave. So pretty much like I get up at three or four in the morning um, on my last day. So that way I'm almost back to Europe time when I come back that way. Okay, so we have Ruben. He wants to know, can you one name one thing that is indispensable for you when traveling? Marcus, what is the one thing you can't live without when you're traveling? The red camera. Okay, I will, then I will compliment you and say I can't live without my computer. Passport, computer, and credit card. And then we have Pontus has a good question. Where do you collect all your airline miles? Who do you have uh, a frequent fly card with? And we, me, Yanni, and Marcus, we all have our cards with uh, SAS. And I think in total on like all the points I have on different cards, I also have the uh, Amex points. I think I have about a million points at this uh, time. So we should really try to book a, we should do that, Marcus. We should book more tickets via points. Yeah, I've told you since April. Yeah, but I'm not modern. I am not smart like that. Actually, tell about the tell us about the um, travel agency you use. That's my question. What do you think about travel agencies, and do you ever use them? Okay, so I was a little <laughs> slow in the whole, you know, internet era. So when me and Yanni started dating, that was five years ago. Um, for the first year and a half or something like that, I used to always book everything through a travel agency in Mura. So I had you know these great ladies that always helped me out because I wanted to have someone on the phone that says. Yes, Yoon, your ticket is booked. You're good to go on the flight. Because I was always nervous booking online that, you know, there would be a problem. But now I have adjusted and I book everything online. Usually, okay, we can move into that. We have a lot of questions. Where do you book your tickets? And we book pretty much everything on Momondo. It's a great search site for all different airlines. And that is the site that I found so far that's been the best. Okay, here's... Um, Here's a question from Hial Marson, 41. He wants to know, what's, the, what's your traveling schedule for the next few weeks? And, okay, so I'm gonna try to remember. We are now in Bali. Tomorrow, we're going to Lombok for six days, which is really cool, because I've never been to Lombok. Um, then we're coming back to Bali for two days, so that we can sort of cut the trip in half. And then this morning, we just found out that we are going to Dubai for four days on the way back. Marcus gave me a skydiving uh, experience as a birthday gift. Yep. And Marcus has a birthday coming up. And now we all have the opportunity to go skydiving in Dubai. <laughs> so we figured, why not stop by there on the way back to Europe? Mm. So the question is, Marcus gonna do it? Who knows? You gotta watch the vlog. Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Yeah. 100%, I'm gonna jump out of that plane. I'm gonna try to put the pulse meter on to see if I can Relax. stay calm. Yeah. That's my, that's my challenge to myself. How calm can I stay while jumping out of a plane? So yeah, um, so Dubai, back to Monaco for a day or two, and then we are driving a very, very special car from Monaco to Marbella, and then we have, I think, four days until Christmas, so we might stay in Marbella or go ski for a quickie, depending on the weather. Ski for a week? For three or four days, depending on the weather. Okay. <laughs> We're still trying to figure it out. I didn't know about that. So yeah. then we have Christmas. <laughs> Me and Yanni are going to do Christmas in Marbella. And then probably back to Monaco. And then 1st of January, me and Marcus are flying to Canada for a week of heli -ski. Super excited for that. Yeah, that should be pretty, pretty epic. So that's about as far as we planned so far. Alexander wants to know, have you ever been to the, the North Pole or do you want to go? Yes, we want to go to the North Pole. We yes, haven't been. of course. But yeah, um, both bucket me, list. Yeah, bucket list. Both me and Marcus, we both love Iceland, you know, Nepal, North Pole. So yes, we want to go to the most remote places in the world. You want to dip your toes? I was just about. Do I look that sweaty? Let me get <laughs> yeah. shorts because I'm, I'm dying. Come <laughs> yeah. on. Me too. <laughs> dip them. Hold on. Oh, oh, this is a good place for a Q and A. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Here's a good one. Uh, Eddie wants to know, if you could plan a Gumball 3000, where would you take the route? It's difficult. I have thought about this quite a bit, and I have to say that it's cool to start up in Scandinavia because the interest in Gumball is huge up in Sweden, Norway. 
And then I really liked going to the Eastern countries uh, like Poland, um, Estonia, Czech Republic. Because it's like if you come with a Lambo to Vegas or Monaco, people are used to seeing Lambos everywhere. Whereas when you go to more unique places, you don't see them as much. So it's like a bigger deal when it comes there. And then, I don't know, finishing off in Monaco is always nice when you finish at the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix. So probably start in Stockholm, go down via Poland, that area, and then finish in Monaco. But yeah, I like to keep it in Europe because when you go over to the States, there's too much logistics with shipping. Ah, um, here's, I like this one. Why does the new carry-on bag from Douchebags only have two wheels and not four? So when developing this bag, we looked a lot about on this, whether we should have two or four wheels. And since we travel to a lot of places where you don't have a completely flat surface when you get off your flight, two wheels is just more suited for anyone that's, you know, if you need to go to your hotel in a ski resort and there's some rocks on the snow, if you have these small four wheels, they're just not that good. So I think Douchebags is a brand for people that travel a bit further and that is why we chose two wheels. So trust me, I've thought about that probably 25 nights where I didn't sleep. As with everything I do. <laughs> Here's a pretty good one actually. Lukey Boy wants to know, how do you deal with clothing issues since you can't wash everything you own everywhere? And <laughs> sometimes Marcus comes to me, he's like, how are you doing on laundry? And I'm like, I'm pretty in desperate need of laundry. <laughs> so yeah, we try to do it in a way where we find laundry along the way or we go to Sarah and H&M and buy the bare necessities so we can make it home without smelling bad. But yeah, usually you can find laundry where you go. Do you want the swan actually? Oh yeah, we should finish on the swan. Yeah. Oh no, it's not a swan, no, it's, it's a unicorn. Not a swan. It's a unicorn. If shit breaks, we have a unicorn. This is much better than where we started the Q&A. Um, here's a pretty interesting one actually, because I think it's interesting. Char <laughs> no, but the question itself is interesting. <laughs> okay. okay, so Charlotte wants to know, are you guys allowed to film on an airplane? Um, have they ever asked you to turn the cameras off? And I mean, I would say that 19 out of 20 uh, airplanes, it's 100% fine. They don't ask anything. And then you have these certain like, sometimes it's like, hey, you cannot film out the window or you can't even take a picture. When we flew from Miami, they said, you cannot take a picture out of the window. Uh, because it's regulated space outside what? and I have never heard that before I can totally see if you're not allowed to have an electronic device in the air but like on the ground texting we weren't allowed to take photos so I would say normally it's fine but sometimes you have weird times when they tell you you can't hello Yanni Hi. do you want to come and join the last part of our Q&A I thought you were going give me two seconds I'm, I'll try to find a good one for you to join in on how much time do you usually need to pass the security check when landing in the USA? And do you like passing it? No, I don't like passing it because they always scare me. Yeah, I'm scared. But it all depends what person you get in the, the what do you call it, the security. But yeah, they do scare us. Yeah. Um, but we haven't had any problems so far. No. Okay, um, second to last question. Um, how would you rank the best top five airlines that you've tried? Um, I can say the five top airlines. Norwegian, SAS, Turkish Airlines, Emirates, okay, I'll Lufthansa. Okay, from my experience, I'm gonna put Singapore Airlines on number one. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. The business class in Singapore Airlines is out of this world. Yeah, I haven't tried it. Um, I do really like SAS. Yeah. SAS okay. new planes are incredible. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm putting SAS on second place. Third place, uh, I'm actually gonna put Turkish Airlines. Yeah. We, I hadn't flown with them before we went to the Maldives, but I have to say I was really impressed. Me too. Um, I also really like Norwegian. They do a great job, uh, even though they're cheaper tickets. I think flying from Scandinavia to the US, flying in premium economy, uh, Norwegian is by far the best. Yeah. And then, was that four or five? Well, I'll let you know if Emirates is up there as we're flying with them back to Dubai. Yeah, so with that said, we are almost done. But before we're done, we have a little surprise for you guys. Because together with the guys here at Chandra, we have put together a little giveaway. And not a little giveaway either. <laughs> this giveaway includes five nights here at Chandra 
in a villa and all the villas here are incredible. But it also includes two days and two nights on Mercy, the boat that we went on on the Komodo Islands. And I have to say, it's probably Top the most- three, the best places I've been to. Yeah, probably the best place I've ever been to. So, if you wanna win this, make sure to check out the link in the description. We can honestly say that you can't do a better vacation than that. Yes. So, check it out. We will come back strong tomorrow, and I hope you guys enjoyed the answers that we had. But now I'm gonna jump in the pool and cool off, and we will make sure to have an AC room next time I start a Q&A. <laughs> yeah. So, Sampai Yumpa. Sampai Yumpa? Sampai Yumpa. I think. Okay. Sampai Yumpa. Yumpa. Ciao. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs>